Fifteen-year-old Crisanto lives at Pangrap Shelter for Street Children in Manila, capital of the Philippines. Ano tay? Yung kalagayan ko nung tay yung mahirap lang kami tapos. We were very poor, and my parents were always fighting. When my father got drunk, he would hit me. It started when I was six years old. He did it just because he felt like it. He wasn't himself when he was drunk. That's when I began thinking I was nothing more than a burden. A few years later, I decided to run away. After I ran away, I lived in Sangandaan Cemetery. It was very dangerous. I was in a gang, and the other boys made me do rugby, which is like sniffing glue. The gang would steal things like mobile phones, and we would scavenge for plastic bottles and electric wire. We would sell recyclable materials to junk shops to get money for food or drugs. You could buy a cup of rugby for five pesos. I didn't get hungry when I sniffed rugby. There were lots of problems on the streets. I got into lots of fights back then, and I would get chased by policemen. I would get dizzy from hunger and sick with eye infections. I couldn't afford to buy any medicine when I was sick. Pupunta kami sa isang lugar na tahimik. Mag-uusap-usap kami. Then I met Nanay Elvi, a street educator from childhood. She came to the cemetery where I lived and we'd go to a quiet place to talk. We talked about my life on the streets and about children's rights. That's when I became interested in pursuing my education. I first came to Pangarap Shelter in 2006, but I ran away because some kids were being mean and bullying me. I went to another shelter, Kuya Center. But I stayed for three years and went to school. Then I came back here to Pangarap. Happy, saya. Hindi ka gaya ng dante. I feel happy here because I can study again. I have a new life and can be like a normal child. I like the activities here. They also like the resilience sessions. This is a program to keep us from going astray. It gives us greater strength and guidance as we grow older. There's a workshop here where we make candles. For every candle you sell, you get 20% of the price. I use the money if I need to buy something, or I give it to my mother when I go home. I visit my family every three months. I'm happy when I'm at home because I'm with my mama again, and she knows that I'm back in school. Crisanto leaves the shelter every morning and goes to a local school, Pasay West, with other boys from the shelter. I've been coming here for one year. I'm happy here. My friend Arbin from the shelter is in the same class as me. I like learning about the history of the Philippines and finding out how things came about, how this thing or that thing came into being, and why. I'm happy because I'm studying again after staying on the streets for so long. I'll get my high school certificate in two years. Crisanto comes back to the shelter for lunch. Afterwards, he does his homework and daily chores like dishwashing. I practice dance moves every evening with my friend Arvin. We watch videos on MTV and make up our own moves. Even though we've got exams, we still want to have a quick practice before revision. Recently, Crisanto went with his mother to see his father. Sorry, na mam pusha to. Siyun na patawad ko narin po siyun lahat ng mga ginawa na sa. My father apologized for all the things he did to us, like hitting me. I've forgiven him. And I feel much better now. My family is my motivation to have a better life. I want to lift them out of poverty. I leave Pangarap Shelter when I have a good job. I'll only go when they know I'm okay, and I can really fend for myself. I'm contemplating two choices: going to college to study accounting, or becoming a sailor and traveling the world. I'd like to go to Beijing and see the Great Wall of China. Then I'd like to come to the UK. And see what it looks like, the way of life, and if there are any street children there. Bakit ganito 